Hey everybody, it's Tracking Pat, and for today's video, we actually are going to fulfill a request that came across social media. We had somebody asking us to show a video on how to do the tool setup and how to put tools in and out of the tool changer on the Track 2 op. This is a little more difficult than it sounds only because with the size of the machine to get all the cameras and everything in here to see what's going on, it's a little tight, so bear with us, okay? But uh, there's a lot of different ways to set your tool heights in the machine. So once it's homed and you have your program set, then you're gonna need some sort of a device to touch each tool off so they can measure. I'm just gonna use a piece of ground rod to do my measuring and it'll make sense as I show it, okay? So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm here in the, in the main mode of the machine and I'm gonna go to the tool setup because I've got a program that has four tools in it. I've got a half inch end mill, a center drill, a drill bit, and a tap, okay? So as I come into here and I push the setup mode, I'm going to go straight to the tool table and you'll notice that in here it also has one, two, three, and four in red because those are the tools in my program. What it doesn't know is the Z offset, which unlike the DPMs and some of our other machines, this machine actually measures the length of each tool from Z home. Okay, so the machine's been home, so here's all I'm going to do. Turn on my resolution, I'm on the Z axis, and I'm just going to move the table to get to a point where I can do this. So what I like to do is like so. Whoops. I like to bring the tool down and then use something like this rod as my measuring stick. So all I'm gonna do is roll this stick under here as I move it up one click at a time until it fits. Then I'm gonna change resolution to a tighter resolution and just do the same thing again. Once the tool fits through there, I know exactly where I'm at and all I have to do is hit the set key and you'll notice in here that it puts in the number from Z home to the end of the tool. What it wants to know next is what type of a tool it is. And this is my finishing end mill, so I'm just gonna put number four in there. And now it's ready for the next tool. But before I can do the second tool, I have to put this tool in the tool changer. So here's how we're going to do it, okay? So I'm just gonna hit the mode key. I'm in the setup mode and go to load tools. It says push go when you're ready, so push go. The tool changer comes out and they ask me what I want to do and I have two options, put a tool in or take a tool out. So I'm going to put a tool in. It asks me what tool number this is. It's number one. Hit the go button, it goes down into its position and asks me to make sure that the position is clear. It is, say yes, hit go. It goes back to its home position and asks me what I want to do next. If I push return twice and hit the go button, the tool changer will close. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my next tool, which is my center drill, and I'm gonna do the same process. Put the tool in first, go back to the tool table, come down one notch to the second tool, and move over for where the offset is. Then I'm just gonna turn my resolution on again. and the same process, okay? So as I dial this up, I just wanna to go to a tighter resolution so I can add the same kind of a feel. Like so, hit the set key, all right? And then one more time, tell it this is a center drill, which is number two, and I'm ready to put this tool away as well, okay? So now I'm just going to hit return, go to load tools, push go. <laughs> Tell it I'm putting a tool in. It's tool number two. Push go. Yes, that spot is empty. One more time, push go. Then return and go. Puts the tool table back. Okay, so now we're at tool three, which is my drill bit. Like so, I'm gonna go back to the tool table, come down to tool three, move over for the offset, same process. Turn my resolution back on. Now 
Now, depending on how close you want to get at this, I have it in a resolution of two thousandths per click. Okay, and so each time it makes a click, I'm just rolling this bar until it fits underneath the tool. If I want to get really precise, I can go to two tenths per click. But for this demonstration, I think you get the same idea. Okay, so that tool is ready. I hit the set key one more time, tell it that it's a drill bit, number one, and then I'm ready to put this one away again. Okay, so return, load tools, go. Put a tool in. It's tool number three, go. Yes, it's empty, go. Almost done here, return, return. Go to close the tools, okay? One last tool. Back to my tool table, down to tool number four over for the offset. Same process. There we go. Hit the set key. So you see all four of my offsets are in here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this tool away as well. So return. Load tools, go. Put a tool in the ATC. This is tool number four. Go. Yes, it's open. One more time. Okay, now what I'm going to do is normally after my tools are set up, the next thing I'm going to do is find my zeros on my piece part. And although I don't have to do this for this demonstration, I do want to show you the difference of taking a tool out of the ATC. And so normally I'd use my first tool to set my Z zero. So the only thing I do different is I push return once. I would say I want to take a tool out and I would tell it I want to use tool number one and push go. It's going to hover over the top of tool number one and say, are you sure the spindle's empty? It is, so I can just say yes and push go. It'll retrieve that tool and then all I have to do is hit return twice and go one last time, put the tool changer away. And now I would just switch to the DRO mode, touch off the top of my part, tell it that Z zero and I'm ready to make parts. Hopefully whoever asked for this request, this tells them exactly what they need to know so they can do it themselves in the future. And for everybody else who's watching it, thank you for requesting that. It's that kind of information that helps us make a better video to help the rest of you guys out there. So for now, I'm Tracking Pat, and remember to keep on tracking. Thanks for watching. Howdy y'all, it's Tracking Pat from Track Machine Tools here with my lovely wife, Wanda both wanting to thank you for watching all of our videos. As always, we really like it when you give us a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, just push this button right here. If you'd like to watch the next video in the queue, of course, hit the one over here. Before we take off to go to the honky tonk, we just want to remind you as always to keep, keep on tracking. Yeehaw!